Good day. We're going to look at how to assign multiple predecessors or successors to multiple activities at the same time. There are two scenarios here where none of the desired predecessor or successors have been assigned to any activity and secondly where the desired predecessors or successors have been assigned to an activity. So for the first scenario, let's take the effective date. It has no successor or predecessor. So because it's the first milestone in the schedule, we want to assign an effective um, a successor to it. Now we come to the relationship tab, relationships tab of the details form. In the successors section, click the assign button. And in the open assign successors dialog you select the activities you want to assign um, successor as successor to effective date so in this case i want the qa documents now to select multiple activities hold down your control key and click now i've selected the three activities i want to assign as successors but even though the uh, note that the activities are selected are from the same WBS, but you can select from multiple WBSs. And this tip also applies to assigning predecessors. Now with the three activities selected or with the activities selected, just click on the enter key and that's it. The successors have now been assigned to the activity. So effective date now has logic relationship. Now, for the second scenario, we want to assign predecessors or successors that have been used to other activities. So in this case, the pipeline works authorization permit application has the predecessors we want to assign to pipeline design permits and line pipe supply contract. So to start with, you go to the activity with the predecessors you want or successors you want to use, in this case predecessors. So we're working in the relationship, the predecessor section of the relationships tab. You select the predecessors you want by clicking the control key. By holding out your control key and clicking on each predecessor. With all the predecessors selected, click the assign button, opens up the dialog. And while you still have that dialog active, you come back to your to your layout, select the activities you want to assign these predecessors to. In this case, pipeline design premise. Hold down my control key, click on the other activities. Now I've selected line pipe supply contract. As you can see, there are different WBSs, so you can click multiple activities in your schedule. With those activities selected, I come to my assign predecessor dialog, click on it to make it active, and then on my keyboard, hit the enter key. Now, because I've got multiple activities selected, you can see here immediately that they've been assigned like it hap like happened when we dealt with a single activity. So to confirm that they've been assigned, just click on each activity and you see that the predecessors have been assigned. And you can also use the same tip to assign successors. Note that both tips will only assign finish to start relationships. If you need any other type of relationship, you can go ahead and change them after they've been assigned. That's all for today. Thank you and watch out for the next video.